This powerful shaking results in the ocean floor either lifting upwards with incredible force or dropping downwards just as suddenly. Let's delve into the fascinating yet potentially devastating process of how a tsunami forms. It's a story of immense power unleashed beneath the ocean's surface, a story that begins with a sudden shift in the Earth's crust. It all starts when an earthquake shakes the ocean floor with tremendous force. These aren't your everyday tremors. We're talking about significant seismic events. This powerful shaking results in the ocean floor either lifting upwards with incredible force or dropping downwards just as suddenly. This sudden movement then pushes up a massive lump of water above it. Imagine the entire column of water above that section of the seafloor being forced upwards. Gravity, the ever-present force, immediately pulls the water back down, seeking to restore equilibrium to the ocean surface. This downward pull doesn't just settle the water, it sends waves racing outward in all directions like ripples in a pond but on a vastly larger scale. These waves possess incredible speed, allowing them to travel faster than a race car speeding down a track. In fact, they can even approach the speed of an airplane, hurtling across the ocean at hundreds of miles per hour. However, as the tsunami nears shallow water closer to the coast, its behavior undergoes a dramatic change. The shallower water causes the wave to slow down considerably, but as it loses speed, it simultaneously grows taller, increasing in height. That's why what might appear as just a small, almost imperceptible wave out at sea can transform into a giant towering wall of water as it approaches the coast, posing a significant threat to coastal communities. The transformation from a subtle ripple to a monstrous wave is sudden and often unexpected. This rapid change is incredibly dangerous, turning a seemingly harmless ocean into a destructive force of nature in a matter of moments. 